Welcome back to Houston Life. We are putting my guest co-host to work today, real estate expert Lily Jang. You have moved over to the guest seat today because every time we hang out, I ask you a million questions about real estate, whether it's happy hour or just socially. And today we figured you could give some free advice to our viewers. Yes. So forgive me if I'm asking some of the most common questions, but people want to know. People want to know. So yeah. let's talk about the market because typically during the summer months, conventional wisdom says, okay, the real estate market is hot during the summer because people want to buy and sell before the school year. It's also an election year, right. which makes people a little bit nervous and people kind of step back. So what are you seeing in the market? It's supposed to be a seller's market, but it really is a buyer's market. A lot of homes are sitting on the market just a little bit longer. We had hurricane season. Uh, we had holidays. We have, I think, a record-breaking number of travelers that went through Bush Airport, TSA. So you have a lot of people who aren't here. And then you add to that interest rates and election turmoil. And a lot of people are just like standing by, sitting on the fence, wondering what's next, holding on to their money. So we're seeing a lot of that right now. And it's so interesting how quickly things can change because I have so many friends who were looking for a home. They couldn't get into homes because it seemed like every home they made an offer on was getting multiple offers or an all cash investor was coming in right. and swooping up the house and then renting it out. Mm -hmm. That's not happening as well, much anymore? Well, we're not seeing that as much anymore. So right now, what's, what's really interesting is that my buyers who want to invest in a house, Here's the thing I need them to talk to their lender about. Well, first of all, talk to a lender first. Um, find out what you can afford. Find out your buying power and your purchase power. And the thing is, because of interest rates, you might not be able to get the same amount for rent that covers your mortgage. So I really sit down with my buyers, walk them through what that scenario looks like with their lender. And you've got to talk to a trusted lender. Ask me if you need somebody. And Maybe it does make sense, but we're not seeing those big corporations swoop in and buy up all of the rental properties like we did two to three years ago. Well, so just so I'm understanding then, if, if I'm an investor and I say, I want to buy some rental properties, I want to buy a house, but my mortgage is going to be $3,000 a month and I can only rent that home for $2,500 a month, right. that's a $500 deficit per month. That's mm -hmm. six grand a year I would be losing. Right. Even though you can make it an offer and you can win an offer, it might not be the best scenario for you right now. And I'm very honest with my buyers up front because you can't be in that situation and pay 500 if you don't have it. And it might not make sense as an investment right now, but you can always refi down the road if the numbers all make sense to you. And that's a conversation to have with your trusted lender. One of the things I love about you, Lily, and the reason why you are my realtor is because I trust you. And I know you are in the business of having transactions, buying and selling homes. That's the way you make money. But you're always going to give it to people truthfully. And yep. maybe for a lot of people, the best thing is to sit tight right now yes. and perhaps renovate or upgrade or make improvements to their home. Right. And there are things that I think that we all need to think about before the next storm. Should we talk about that? Let's talk about that. Okay. Yeah. yeah before the next hurricane hits, we have some things that um, you really should consider as an investment. So gutters, if you can get gutters, get all that standing water away from your property. And you know the gutters that go underground, they divert water away from your yard, they take it all the way out to the curb? Yeah. Get those as well, it's, a pri it's pricier. Those are called French drains? No, that's different. What's a French so drain? So a French drain is just a drain in the middle of your yard, in the backyard, and it takes all that standing water in your yard and it takes it underneath your house all, to, all the way to the street. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I think, I mean, I have experts who can do that. If you guys need um, trusted contractors, Please reach out to me. This is a very good point because a lot of people are getting scammed. Don't yes. go with someone who shows up and knocks on your front doorstep. Call call Lily. Yep. Call Lily. Call someone you trust who has you know a, a solid yep. recommendation. And I have a list of vendors that I can pass along to you guys. Um, another really important thing: whole house electrical panel, the surge protector. And this is something that is standard. It's code in new homes, yes. right, Lily? It's code in new homes. It's required for current construction. Um, but if you don't have it, if your house is 10 years old, you can always get it done. It protects all circuits from power surges. So you don't get fried when the power comes back on. That's right. I think one thing we learned, especially after barrel, remove all those dead trees. Mm -hmm. We saw what a catastrophe that's been. And, and urge your neighbors to do so as well. We, we had a friend whose neighbor's dead tree fell on their house. Yeah. Yeah. Major this bummer. last one is a little bit expensive, whole house generator. Okay, and, and it's also kind of controversial a little bit because a, a lot of people do not have trust in Centerpoint. That's right. Centerpoint also delivers the gas which powers these whole house generators. Mm -hmm. If everybody gets generators, 
can we trust that Centerpoint will be able to deliver the gas to those generators? Yeah, and maybe this is a simple question for them. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's very complicated. But think about this, because everybody wants a generator. It's the biggest conversation I'm having with my clients right now. And if a million people get generators at the same time and they fire up at the same time what that after do? the next storm, where is uh, the source? Is there enough? Are the pipes underground narrow? Are they bigger? Can they, subs they, can, can they sustain? Um, and accommodate, do we have the infrastructure for everybody to get gas at the same time? It's an important question. Those are really important questions we don't know the answer to, and we should look into that. We should get our Investigates team on that. Yeah. Uh, before we wrap up our conversation, we have some video to show our viewers, yes. and this, I think, is a very interesting trend. Yeah. You were just telling me that a lot of Houstonians are moving farther west and making this their primary. Yes, home. this video is shot by Nick Kadena. This is Panetta Homes. They built this stunning home. It is a luxury home, but it's now a primary residence for somebody just like 30 minutes from Katy. And this is Houston's six moving acres? west. Yes, yeah, six acres. Look how lovely it is. So Houston's moving west. What's driving that, Lily? Because again, people are not, these are not second homes. Right. People are making these their primary homes. Is, is this like a hybrid work situation That's or right. people who can work remotely? Mm -hmm. That's the situation. You've got six acres. You can, look, we can add a pond for you. This house is on a contract now, but we also have a home office in this house by Panetta, Panetta Homes, because we anticipate somebody's going to work from home. It's a hybrid situation. Oh my gosh, that's Look how beautiful. beautiful that is. And to have six acres. So yeah. this is something that maybe five years ago would have been unheard of, that, yeah. th that as people, as the city is building out, people are going as far west as Belleville. Mm -hmm. Again, that's Panetta Homes? Panetta Homes. So that's just 30 minutes from Katy. That's not that far when you really think about it. Yeah, when you put it, and put you get it that, that way. get fresh air. Okay, I still have a million questions, but we got to take a quick commercial yeah. break. So by the way, we have shared a link where you can connect with Lily. Visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Look for that scene on Houston Life section. You can always find Lily Jang Real Estate. Yes.